guys, welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Today I have a little mixture of things that I picked up at Walmart. I did not pick these up today or yesterday. These are things that I picked up last week. Um, and one of these things was in a Walmart bag under my back floorboard. I hauled a few weeks ago, but I have, uh, I forgot about it, y'all. I forgot about it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to share these with y'all. But before I do this, I want to ask you a question. Y'all, if today was the last day that you could get any kind of preps, anything, to, if you knew tomorrow was grid down to the ground, nothing left, no water, no uh, money to buy anything, no pipeline, no nothing, 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 nothing. Only thing you're going to have come tomorrow is what you have in your possession, what's in your pantry. If you knew that tomorrow that it was going to be like that, what would be the first thing that come to your mind that you need to get? Or would it be, I'm ready, I'm not ready, or oh my goodness, I need to get this, or oh, I don't have enough of that, or oh, I forgot this. Oh my goodness, this, this, this. What are those things that pop in your mind? Y'all, because you need to get those. You need to get those ASAP. ASAP. And I do capital A, capital S, capital P. A-S-A-P. ASAP. <laughs> I lost an A in there. But ASAP. You need to get these ASAP. Y'all, you, you know that, um, I'm sure you're aware. If not, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, about four days ago, Russia did um, try to attack our power grid and our pipelines. Luckily, the U.S. was able to deter it and fix it and before it caused any damage, y'all. We also have Georgia that filed state of emergency because the supply chain is, is broken and there's no food on their shelves. There's very little food on their shelves. Uh, y'all, I don't know about you, but I'm right next door to um, Georgia. Um, this, there's just so many things going on. C is rearing its head. We got over in China, China's got lockdowns going on. Um, all those factories and all everything that we get out of China, they're not making it right now. Over, well, not everything, but a majority, a lot of things that we get from there, they're shut down. They're they're in lockdown. They're not at work working to make the things that we need. And the supply chain sure ain't gonna bring it to us. Sorry about the lights, y'all. So y'all, whatever it is that popped in your head when you ask yourself that question, you need to get it get it these are things on the table these are not the things i'm talking about for me these are like i said these are things i already had for this haul these are things i want and i think are important but if i had if if it was hitting tomorrow nope these are not the things i would have got sure ain't sure ain't mm -mm. nope i'm glad i got them everything i got i'm glad i have but ask yourself that question y'all and you need a, a, a you need to fix that problem as quickly as you possibly can. I get it. Everybody don't have money. Everybody can't do everything. But if you have a means, you need to fix it. All right, y'all. So let's just get into this. This is a very small haul. Um, these are things that um, were on my mind. Um, and these are not the most important, as I realize. But they are things on my mind, things I wanted. So let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all, um, I picked up some extra oil and oil filter for my vehicle um, to have on hand. I also picked up a dome, y'all. This, I don't know if I'm even going to keep this because I'm really having second thoughts on it. It was $9.99. It's not real expensive, but hey, $10 buys, yeah, it buys a lot of preps. You can get some essential preps out of $10. I'm thinking to take this back because I think the barbecue grill is going to do the same thing. Yeah. I see now I'm, I'm questioning myself again. If I wasn't on the barbecue grill and I was over an open fire, I don't know if this would hold up. I don't know. I'm on the fence. Y'all let me know. Keep or take this, this dome back. But anyway, I got a dome. Also because I had someone in the comments that was letting me know about these little USB fans that you can charge up. And um, they will run for a few hours to help cool you off in the summertime. We are running up in the spring and summer months. So these would be great to have on hand. You could um, charge these up in your vehicle and carry them in your house at nighttime. Maybe help you sleep better, whatever. Um, these were, I believe, were $6.96, but they could have been $9.99. I'm not sure. They weren't a whole lot. They, these were at Walmart. Also, back here, let's get this back here. I picked up some more of these fire starter cubes, y'all. Um, especially if you're not handy dandy with making starting fires, which I am not. 
these come in handy like i said in the last video you can also use a cotton ball uh, with vaseline around it um, you can also use a tea light candle um, there's other things you can use to get it fire started um, but i did pick up five more boxes of these and these are 88 cents a box not a dollar something a box because i think i said one or two dollars in the last video these are 88 cents a box which is a fabulous price i think um, there's 18 to a box so yeah and this little culprit right here is what was in my back seat i believe these are batteries that i hauled not last week but a week or so back when i thought i had triple a's and double a's and i only had double a i think i did this is when i purchased those but these are the rechargeable double a batteries um it comes with four in the unit itself and then i purchased four more these are great to have for flashlights or or whatever you're going to need on hand for batteries so yep i picked up those and right back here i'm kind of i was kind of excited about this um this is a let's see it is a tripod grill and lantern hanger um i guess you can hang a lantern on it it's also a grill that you can lower or raise to adjust the temperature on your food it adjusts um adjustable height 17 inch diameter cooking surface carrying bag included this was 22 dollars so i didn't think that was terribly expensive i was kind of excited about it um yeah, that's something that's on my mind, too, about learning how to cook outside. Um, I wasn't able to try it this past weekend, but I'm hoping, don't hold me to it, but I'm hoping that this next week I will be able to um, try some cooking outside, and I hope to bring y'all along. But that's all that's in this um, in this haul. Like I said, it's not a lot. Um, these are things I got last week, and, of course, this has been hiding in my car for a few weeks. Um, but I wanted to share them with y'all, and I wanted to touch base with y'all, and let y'all know, y'all, um, if you're watching this, nine times out of ten, you're a prepper, and nine times out of ten, it's going to boil down to your family depending on you, just like I know it is, my, my family is going to depend on me and what I have in my preps. So, y'all, keep on keeping on out there. Um, if you're anything like me, you're not going to turn your, your family away. You're just not. So, um keep on keeping on and, and get stocked up get those necessities that you that you were like oh my goodness about let's go ahead and get those and let's not forget water y'all don't forget water all right y'all um i don't want to keep this too long and i um i hope that y'all will give this video a thumbs up y'all if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you can be notified every time i upload um, yeah, y'all leave your tips and tricks below. That's how we learn and, uh, is by sharing our tips and tricks, tips and tricks and our knowledge with each other. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye everyone.